evening guys it's a 5 11 pm today is 11 15 today is a tuesday uh and today was a decision day you know for that friday's up move and now you know unfortunately price goes right at 4000 this area so it's a gray area now going into tomorrow okay i don't know uh so uh, today's max in yes actually we got few trades out during ppi news and after the open also and later in the day shorts you know so we got longs and shorts both actually throughout the time you know i was in discord and you know a couple of people are are turned green they were red and they turned down green you know so today's max in es 4002 4055 nqs is this levels right so this levels were already achieved in the pp during the ppi news so that's why we played long during ppi to get to this once it gets there, our day was over technically because you know there is no max potential left now for the day. So either price is going to chop around or go down into lower support. You know that was, that was the idea. Uh, and essentially, price did you know went to lower support and it didn't couldn't go above higher this area. You know 4,055. Right? So I actually had a short right here at 50 4,050. My target was 4,023 and 4010 and both got achieved I, I shorted it during after i was done trading longs uh, when price touched here you know i took a micro just to see short right at 4050 and then you know i built out at 23 original target what 4011 okay so now uh here it's because during during before PPI even, when I wrote this note around 6 o'clock, right, price was trading higher, slowly going higher, right. So this, this notes were written based on that statement, okay. So fewer longs above both dream numbers in NQ and ES, and ES above 8386, NQ fewer long above this area, okay. Below this area, you can short, but be mindful of lower support for profit taking. Overall, short term buyers are still active as long as they are holding above Friday's low. If sellers are legit, then they have to break below our preferred buyers area first, okay? And then watch Dow today, especially if it is showing weakness, then something is brewing there and it may affect other indexes, see that? So I only bring Dow into picture on occasionally on some days only and those days are very critical, you know? So today Dow was the first one who broke down. If you saw, if you are watching Dow, that was your hint to take a short in Q in NQ and ES at at this time. No, at this time. So remember, in the morning we took the long at yesterday's high, right? NQ we took the long right around this backup sellers area, which turned into buyers area, right? The resistance turned into support because price went through it during CPI or PPI news, right? We took a long here also. And then 928 was the level which I said before PPI to observe. And this level started the move, correct? So we can take longs on the way up here, right? In the ES, same thing, targeting either this or this, right? So uh, wherever you build out this long, right? But when it reached this, right? Definitely our day is over for longs, aggressive longs, right? So when this price pull back flushed into this area first time internals were holding above momentum was holding above zero line this were holding right so this makes sense to go long here at first test you know and then you have to just manage it in real time right if but then when we took this long we realized that hey this is the rejection from here and now prices came back all the way down to 15 or even lower right so ideally it should not have gone below 23 you know? so here that was my exit first exit right and then it, you can see there is a bounce there but then it got rejection right so then you have to understand the price is trying to establish a step step down pattern right so you can't hold it for a, again to the moon so you have to take a profit you have to pay, play two with two contracts one contract you have to bail out here second contract uh, you have to do break even stop okay so you you didn't get a stop out here second time also it bounced but when it's coming down here like this now you have to realize the day is garbage garbage day means you can't hold it so you have to bail out the second contract here you know? same thing in NQ you have to bail out here both the contract right so both the contract has a good size profit 
now you know it's a garbage range so you cannot trade in the garbage as i always say right so you have to stay away until this range is broken to the downside or upside okay so you cannot trade here but however there was a there was one trade which was here you know, it was like going with the price because here we were we were observing this step one step two right when price i was when price was here i said it has to taste the low first then go higher you know so here it tested the low right here right so that was a step one then go higher step two step two was to go above this area 4026 and then go higher then buyers are ready you know till then no trade right so step two failed here price couldn't go higher and make a new low so this time it is telling us that sellers are active now you can't even do anything you know because nq did not break properly here also you know so you have to wait now then you can't trade in this chop right but then instead of balancing here and going down this damn thing try to go higher see here and momentum was still holding above zero line right so here here the step to actually happen right here you know it went above it you go long with the flow you know same thing in nq also you go long you know? but now you know the day was garbage and you are taking a long in the garbage right so it technically sellers can step in at here 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 any point as long as it is going higher you hold it so the way the way went up right it should not come down back to this area again the moment it came down you should be allowed ideally you know but let's say you held it held it held it when you see this you should be allowed but when you see this job let's say you get back in right ideally you should not but then when you see this and this right see these two circles are the telltale sign that somebody bought it up and now price came down now it wants to go down you know so now if you are watching Dow, right, so still it was garbage. So now you have to wait for this range to be taken up completely, you know. So because momentum was holding above zero line pretty much, you know. So it, there was no weakness, right. So in this circle between 12 to 12.30, you know, this area, Dow was the first one. So remember I said Dow, watch out the weakness. So Dow broke down below morning low, you know, right here between 12 to 12.30. That was the sign that hey, if ES breaks down, now it's the trade, you know. So right here, ES broke down. See that NQ at the same time, NQ also broke down, correct? And now your uh, uh, here internals, see that they started going down now, very beginning, right? So and here momentum held at zero, see pretty much to the dot. That was the sign, right? And then Dow already broke down, so that was the signal. And now when it po po broke down below like this, you can see there was a slight pop up. You have to take your chances right here. Right here. No? At this low. And your stop is up to here. That's it. You know, by the time price was already here, see that before that even it got a rejection from this VWAP clearly. See that? It, this time it didn't go up here. See that? Then it came down. Here again it tried it. It failed. Right? Remember 16 was a max yesterday and it, that was also yesterday's high and then you got this, this was your sign. You know? Now you will rest assured intraday breakdown happen, happen. Most likely it will go towards globex low. Yes, maybe here it may provide some struggle but after you know it was 1 pm so entire morning it balance and breakdown most likely it will go through it to the next level here. So here you take a profit. You know? And then when price went down, this was a poor low anyway, right? That's why it's taken up. So there is no long there. But when it bounced back up to this 84, right? Here you can take a short back to the low again and bail out, you know? Call it a day off if you want to, you know? Same thing here NQ, you can also do that short here, bail out here and done. Because we know this area is very powerful, this blue lines, right? And now it is going into preferred bias area anyway. So there is no long setup here, right? But you know based on the internals ad was also at zero line right so it was not negative negative so you can you know make a case for this long here also if you want to you know or first test of hunting levels this blue lines you can go long also right here you know? when es was testing below this yesterday's low remember yesterday's low held it 63 right 
there will be some lingering buyers there so it will provide a bounce back to 84 at least you know 84 is important in es right so this is the long also you can take it from here to here you know dream number back to dream number right and then you can short also and that's it your story ends there and then you do not want to chase because now price was already too much down you know it was a news driven so you do not want to mess around right and that be all for today so these were the trades overall it's a very good day for all of us as usual and that be all so now later on there was one trade actually so while price was going down here and balancing here, right, there was a trade that I put it in Discord ahead of the time, you know, when price was here, I said, wait for NQ to come down, come up to this, you know, uh, uh, and then Dow, I also give you the level for Dow, yes, also I said 4009, right, so this and 9 was a perfect combination to short, right, only issue was the target should be the low of the day, you know, ideally. But interim target would be this because here price balanced it, right? Then broke out. So on the way down, this area, 89 or this, 95 was important here. See that? Uh, here, 95 or 4000, right? So they may provide some resistance here, you know, like struggle. And that is what essentially happened here. See that? Second time up also. And then finally it broke down but then 89 held see 89 was the level i gave it here that 89 may hold here right so and nq is 874 actually at that time you know which is this area right so they held it so we know some buyers are there so it makes sense to take a profit here you know and for nq it's here right and short here take profit so i took this both shorts actually you know i was waiting for these things you know so together i took both shorts I shared that trade also in, in Discord also. So that be all for today. You know, overall, it was a tough day in the morning, right? It's so garbage. So after a few trades, we are done, right? Then we wait. And when this thing happens, you just milk it, you know? And that be all for today. I'll see you tomorrow.